Hey guys, uh, my name is Mark Hill. This is Mark's on the Grill, and today is all about chicken because we can still get chicken and chicken's still cheap. So uh, we figured we'd uh, fire up a few things in our backyard here and see a few different ways to do it. So that'll be fun. Check out what else we're doing here, man. We spatchcocked a chicken. Look at that. No kidding. Well, here we go. So just like this. Now, spatchcocking a chicken is really quite easy. All you need is a pair of uh, uh, kitchen shears, that's all. Very Game of Thrones. Look what we did here. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Holy cow. <laughs> That's gorgeous. And you want to know the cool thing about this? Uh, this is actually a really neat barbecue to do it on, these infrared things, because they don't flare up. You know how easy it is to get fire on the skin of a chicken? In fact, look at this. So no fire, no flame. But you see over here on the rotisserie? Spin around. Spin around. Look at this. See? So much. Every time it drips down, it fires back up. So there's uh, uh, advantages and disadvantages to all different kinds of ways of making this. And the other way that we did was in our big uh, smoker from Masterbill. So we're going to get to that in a second. Uh, the reason that we put these skewers in, have a quick look there. Uh, the reason that we do that, uh, when you're done spatchcocking the chicken, which just means taking the backbone out, turning it over, and giving it kind of a hard press into the table. That's all you really got to do. That flattens it out, okay? And then what happens is, uh, you know, as you cook any type of protein and everything kind of shrivels up, you know, uh, things can kind of go where they're not supposed to go and all that kind of thing. So if you want to keep the look of a spatchcock chicken, go ahead and do this uh, little skewer thing. And then when you're just about ready to serve, all right, then you're just going to go ahead and take tongs or something and just kind of pull those bad boys out. That's all. Uh-oh, look at that. Ruined the skin. That'll be my piece. <laughs> so let's start with that smoked chicken, okay? So, so we got a lot of smokers around here, okay? And one of the nice things about this one is you can control the amount of smoke that goes in it. Here's what I mean. You put the wood in the side here and you let that create the smoke on the inside, all right? So this one is electric. Boogie, 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 boogie. Let's do it again. This one's electric. Boogie, woogie, 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 woogie. Hey, uh, so what that means is you don't have to have that wood flavor on if you don't want to, and you can really control it. Like if you've got that pellet smoker going back there, you're just going to taste wood. That's all that's happening. So we put a heavier smoke on this. Now the other drawback of a smoker like this is you're going to max out at about 275 degrees. And if you're just looking for something to smoke with, guys, that's perfect. And there isn't anything in the world easier than this. So look what we did. We did a little bit of a, uh, a rub with brown sugar and paprika and all the, all the usual suspects. But then, up under the skin, I buried a whole bunch of like, uh, uh, sh like, like shredded uh, garlic. What's the word I'm looking for? Not shredded. Mince? Mince? Mince is a good word. Yeah, I'm going to like mince. So let's put our, our smoked guy there. So that's all up under the skin. So when you do a smoked chicken like this, sometimes you don't get that, uh, uh, y y you know, like uh, crisp skin. But you get a really different flavor <laughs> profile. So we cooked this chicken in about, I would say, maybe uh, an hour and a half, but then I left it on for about an hour so we could really get some of that smoke flavor in there. So let's go ahead and let this out. Isn't that nice? And check out how juicy that is. Even a smoked chicken, you see that coming from there? Look at that. Even a smoked chicken, man, just kind of uh, bring it up to temperature, get it at 165 in there, and then if your smoker can handle it, which that one can, then what you want to do is go ahead and let that rest for as long as you can in the smoker at about 165 or 175, okay? That's going to keep all the juices in there, which is terrific, all right? And then the other thing that that's going to do is it's going to give you that really nice smoky flavor. So listen, rotisserie chickens are fantastic, man, and I'm never going to tell you that $4.99 at Costco is ever going to be a price you're going to beat by doing it yourself at home. But I got to tell you, man, there's just something satisfying about looking at that and knowing that you built the fire, you positioned it right, you did all the stuff. Oh, that's the way to go. All right, so let's go ahead and turn this off. It's so hot. Uh, here, I'll loosen this. Should I loosen this here where it's easy? There. Now it's loose. I can get it off. So let's bring this over here. There, this is, this is Game of Thronesy. Oh, yeah, man. Holy cow, that's nice. Here we go. All right, so I'm going to cut this off just like that. Just like that. Oh, I wish you could smell this. This is out of this world, man. Nothing smells better than a rotisserie chicken. Let me tell you that much. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. I got to try this one. Rotisserie chicken is my favorite. Oh, man. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's really good. That's really, really good. 
Now this one has been uh, slow cooking over a low temperature so we can bring it up to a higher temperature and then get that nice caramelization with the barbecue sauce. So let's bring that right over here. Oh, isn't that nice? I love, love, love barbecued chicken, man. So let's get this cut in half like that. Oh, isn't that nice? That is really pretty. And then we'll quarter this out. We'll get these on the uh, on the different ones. So like I said, guys, the difference in the chickens and, 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 and what you want to pay attention to, if you want that smoky flavor, there's all kinds of different options out there. One of the best ones is that box smoker that we use. I love, love, love using that one because it really is simple. Anybody can use it. You're never going to have a problem with it. Like I said, if you want the crispy skin, though, then you want to jump up to something a little bit more uh, oomph in it, like our, our, our uh, True Infrared series here. And there's never any flares or fire ups or anything like that. And don't forget, if you really want to take it to the next level, grab yourself a rotisserie, a spit, something like that, because those have such a crazy good flavor. All right, guys, be good. One last look there. We'll see you next time.